Hi, hello, welcome. Thank you for coming to my little corner of the universe. Uh, my name is Carrie, and this is going to be the first of many, probably, um, video podcasts about my making, my crafting, my knitting, my crocheting, anything that I feel like talking about, really. Um, let's be honest here, I have a tendency to not annoy, but like over talk about my projects and my um things that I'm doing with my family who they lovingly care but they do not know what I'm talking about half the time it's all right um I've been wanting to do this for a while now and I've kind of just been putting it off and putting it off and now here I am um it feels like it's time so I'm going to do it um, a little bit about myself. My name is Carrie. Like I said, I am a crafter. I like to knit. I like to crochet. Um, I live in Aurora, Colorado, which is oh, in the United States. It's just outside of Denver, Colorado, if you know where that is. Um, I live here. I don't know what I was about to say. Oh, I've currently lived here for about two years. Um, I live here with my partner of five and a half years, Grant, and our two cats, Aria and Esme. Um, Aria is a calico and Esme is a tabby. And they are my babies. I don't have any actual kids. Maybe one day we'll get there. Who knows? Um, we're taking life as it goes. I have some works in progress, some finished objects. I could grab some yarn, it's over there. I could, but um, currently staring at the mess that is all that. Um, but I just wanna get it out into the world. We will start with some finished objects cause they're fun and they're exciting. I don't have all of my most recent finished objects because um, how many were gifts? I took about six pairs of socks out to North Carolina when I visited my family um, and like my best friend. So my little sister, she got four pairs of socks from me and my best friend got two. Um, so I don't have those with me. Two of them are like actually recently finished like this month, um, but that's okay. I don't think I have any pictures of them either. Oh, before we actually get started, I forgot. I wanted to mention that this is a me made item. Um, it is the Me Oh My Tea from Park Williams of Park and Knit. Um, I made it out of Lion Brand Cotton Jean, I think it's called. Um, I had about a single skein of each of these colors um, and I was like, you know what, I love a good stripe so we're gonna stripe it. And well I didn't do it on the sleeves because striping with German short rows sounds terrible. I got a text message. Um, so we're just gonna get that away. Um, I made this back in ooh, August, September, somewhere around there of 2021, right after I had just moved out to Colorado from North Carolina. It was one of my first projects and I still love it. I washed this in the washing machine. It is made out of 100% um, recycled cotton jeans and I washed this in my washing machine and it just gets softer over time. So I should really make some more cotton pieces. Um, anyways, back to finished objects. Um, my first one I will talk about, I finished this, let's, I wrote some notes down so I had all this information. Um, I finished this just four days ago on the 23rd. Today is currently the 27th of June. Um, this is the sibling sweater from Laura of Penrose Knits. Um, it is this beautiful striped kids sweater. Um, I made it for my best friend's little boy named Jackson. He's gonna be two in July. Um, I made the size three to four because I wanted, I knew my gauge was gonna be off. I have ADHD. So that means I have a tendency to just fly into things and not stop and think about it. So I kind of had a feeling my gauge was going to be off. I didn't do a gauge watch. I didn't really check the gauge while I was doing it. I just went with it. But I was hoping that it would be 
like a good size for like maybe closer to the three versus the four. Um, so he can grow into it. It's got this cute little, I, anyways, sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you about the yarn. This main color is Pirates of the Caribbean in, uh, on DK, classic DK from Sorella Yarn. And also this from Sorella Yarn, this blue is called Solstice. I have it on classic sock. Um, I'm holding it double for the DK weight. I do not know what this gray is. I don't even actually think it's wool. Oh, uh, both of these are 100% merino wool. Um, so it should keep him warm in his little winter. It's gonna be for Christmas. I plan on making a bunch of these for all the little ones in my life. I have two nieces and three nephews. So hopefully I'll be able to get all of them something. Although I'm probably gonna make most of them out of either like a cotton or an acrylic because they live in sunny Florida, all of them do. So, but Jackson lives in North Carolina where they get a good winter. So he should be very good. Let's see here, I started this April 10th of this year and I finished it June 23rd. It sat for probably about a month with only this sleeve needing to be done. It happens. But I knew I wanted to get started on Christmas presents early so that if I did kind of procrastinate, it's okay. And I would say that's good. Um, I've been in the sock knitting mojo world for most of this year so the fact that I even finished a sweater is perfect amazing because I have not had any kind of sweater mojo um so did I pin it did I tell you everything um yeah looks like it next finished object is actually this blanket right here this is the granny stripe blanket from uh, Green Letter Day. Um, I started this back in January, in specifically January 13th, and then I finished just recently finished it June 20th. Um, I originally started this as a, a potential temperature blanket. Not really. Um, I wanted to do a temperature blanket, but I also know I have tried them in the past and not succeeded if you will at actually finishing them so my thought process was I have all these scraps let's do a mood blanket but not in the traditional sense where you pick a color and that color coordinates to that specific mood or what have you it was more just like a every day I'm gonna pick a color based off of my mood and crochet a row that quickly changed because uh within the I think the first when I first can it do I say cast on if it's crochet when I first started the project um I was like okay I'll just do two or three rows try and catch up slowly because I started it January 13th I think I said yeah so I had like 13 days to catch up on um to get back up to par well I within the first day, I think I did all the way up to this like red color right here. Um, and then I quickly just decided I was just gonna work on this and use all this um, fingering weight scraps that I had. Um, fingering weight and, and sock scraps. I, I'm just holding them double. I really like it. I, I don't know. Okay, so here's here's my dilemma with it. I love it, I love the size. I quickly realized I was just using the same yarns over and over again in the middle here because I had some skeins of like big leftovers and I didn't want to make any socks either because they didn't have any nylon in them or I didn't particularly like the colors so it got a little bit repetitive and like I don't want to say boring but kind of boring 
we're, it's fine. Um, so I had to put it to his side for a little bit because it got, I don't know if you'd see it like I do, it got kind of like yellowy and I'm not a yellow person. It's fine. I finally decided to sit down and finish it and it is the perfect lap size blanket. Um, I am glad that I finally finished it. I'm glad that I decided to get over the middle part because if I look at it as a whole, I love it. I love it. It's so good. Um, let's see here. I used a 4.25 millimeter hook, which I think is a, a G um, for us American folk. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably going to do another one, maybe a little bit more planned. You can't see it on the top of there. I have a couple skeins of yarn like pulled out. They're all in the same kind of color family. They're all Sorry, my cat made a sound. Um, they're all kind of blues and purples, and I think it'll be really pretty. Um, but no rush to start that because if we're being honest, like 100% honest, I've still got about 10 works in progress, and I think three of them are blankets. Maybe more because I started a cozy memory blanket. That's neither here nor there. It's fine. <laughs> um, so that's all my finished objects right now. I only have two because, like I said, a lot of them went to um, my friends already. I will link the project, the Ravelry, Ravelry project pages, but I don't have to show them. I don't think I even have pictures of them. I might on the project page, but they're not great pictures. They're not like proper finished object photos, you know? It's fine. <laughs> um, so let's move on to works in progress. I have with me currently four. Um, yeah, four of them. None of them are in any kind of likeness order. They're just, they are what they are. Um, of course I forgot to write down about this project. It's fine. I am making a uh, cozy classic. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Secret summer crop. Oh my gosh, secret summer crop from Jessie Made. I've made this before. It's actually right there. Um, I. It's not a dire project. I love it. I believe I started this in late May, around May 28th time. Um, I might be wrong now that I think about it. Um, not 100% sure. It's fine. I am using actually some self dyed yarn. I have some acid dyes that I love to dye some yarn with. Yep, that works. <laughs> it's fine. Um, this I dyed back in late 2020 early 2021 maybe and it's it's beautiful it's some of my favorite colors um if you know me outside of the internet you know I wear a lot of black however in my knitting I knit with color I don't think I've ever made an actual like actual just black garment everybody says it's hard um not hard but like rough if you will because you can't see the stitches as well I'll get there eventually I have black yarn over there that I have plans for but I just keep getting distracted by the freaking color it's so beautiful I love it anyways um I think I call this mermaid dreams or something like that just because I have two skeins of it um, I believe it is it is 100% superwash merino wool. I know that, um, and I believe it is 250 yards per 115 grams. I have two of these, so that's 500 yards, give or take. Um, I personally love the pooling. I know some people aren't gonna like it. I just think it's like kind of making its own little stripey pattern. Um, 
I like pooling. I don't mind it. Well, little asterisk there. There are certain times that I don't like it, but specifically on socks, I love when it pools like this. I think it's so cool. I don't like the micro stripes as much as other people. Um, <laughs> but this is going to be really fun. I have no like plans on how much or how soon I need to uh, finish it. It is just a leisure project, if you will. Um, I am using some acrylic interchangeable needles, um, US 5, I think it's 3.75 millimeter. Um, I might be wrong because it's kind of rubbing off, but I will put the Ravelry project page down below if you want to go look at that. They're probably not the best notes, but you can see all the other stuff. Um, uh, with this pattern, if you know about the pattern at all, it, it's worked bottom up. And you kind of um, do this little chest piece and then straps back. You can either crisscross them in the back or make them straight. My first one I crisscrossed. This one I think I'm just going to go straight down. I think it'll be cool. Um, yeah. What next? I am working on a test knit for Jody of Worsted Wolf Designs. Um, it is the Bryce's Boyfriend Socks. <laughs> um, so this is actually my second pair of these. Um, the first one I gave to my best friend Chanel and I followed them more to a T. I have the notes on my project page I can link. But this one, I'm just doing the like lightning bolts on the lake because I thought it would be so cute. I'm actually, <laughs> so if you know anything about these socks, they are based off of Crescent City by um, Sarah J. Moss. It is a fantasy world. Um, Bryce Quinlan is the main character and her boyfriend Hunt Athalar is who he is like an angel and he controls lightning. So thus the lightning strikes. Lightning bolts. Um, I, the original pattern comes with colorwear or like stripes above the color work I choose I chose not to do them on this pair I did them on my last pair um I just really wanted just the lightning bolts and I'm pretending these are Hunt's version of Bryce's socks um I've been flying through this this is my second pair like I said I started these on June 16th and I say flying in the sense of like I really have not been working on these I have been in a bit of a knitting rut. It comes and goes. Usually around this time of year, I slow down on my making. I don't know what it is. The beginning of the year, I'm just cranking sh stuff out. Um, and this, and then it always kind of peters off June, July, and then it picks back up in August. It's just something I learned about myself. Um, so with me not being doing a lot of knitting recently, like currently, um, I think that's pretty good for me. Um, I have been known to knit a pair of socks in two days. Shorty socks, but still. Um, I get kind of obsessed with things. ADHD. I don't know if I mentioned that. I do have ADHD. I pick up a lot of pro hobbies. Anyways. Oh, I didn't tell you the yarn. Oh, my goodness. This beautiful yarn is, um, the colorway is Midnight. It's from Ash and Bumble. It is their 8020 sock base, and I love it. It is a beautiful midnight blue. It just makes me happy. Blue is one of my favorite colors, if you haven't seen my hair. It's usually more blue than this. I don't know why it's getting cut off so badly. That's how I chose to frame the video, I guess. Anyways, um... Yeah, I love them and I can't wait to finish them. Uh, I think the test goes until July 9th. You have to read, check that out. But I already finished the pair of things, single pair of so I can give in my notes, turn in my notes without issue. Um, my next work in progress um, is Minecraft socks. Yes. Okay. I apparently should have organized this better. 
<laughs> it's all right. I have been working on these Minecraft socks. I cast them on. I went, I recently went out to North Carolina to visit some friends and family. Um, cause I hadn't been back out to North Carolina since I moved out here in August of 21. So I was like, it's time. So, uh, for play knitting, I took some socks and um, these are the Minecraft socks by Heather Cox. They are a free, my cats are making noises. Um, they are a free pattern on Ravelry. They are supposed to look like the bricks that build <laughs> the Minecraft world. If you know anything about Minecraft, it's a video game. It's very blocky. Um, I started these on June 5th and I am using Cascade National Park from Explore Knits and Fibers in her Denali Sock Base. It is an 80-20 blend and it is beautiful. It's getting kind of blown out. You really don't see the variegation in it, but it is, you see the variegation better on the actual socks. Anyways, it is beautiful. It is um, part of her National Parks yarn club. I was part of it for six months and I love them. I've been working, slowly working through all of my skeins and loving them all. Um, I think I only have two skeins of National Park yarn left, but this is North Cascades National Park. Um, I am using US 1 2.25 2.25 millimeter um chowu red lace needle you know the usual i am a magic loop knitter um aside from color work i use nine inch circulars um it's just easier for me with color work on socks i can't help it um yeah I, I haven't gotten that far. It's a, it's a really nice pattern and it's really easy to follow. I just, um, I was knitting these on a plane, like I said, and it's like about a 12 row repeat. So I feel like I messed up, but also I'm just having a hard time getting through the heel on this for some reason. Um, probably the knitting rut, if we're being honest, but that's either neither here nor there. Um, my next work in progress slash last work in progress is for Hannah of Sandmade Knits. This is this was a test for the Havzy Sock Light. I cannot say enough good things about this pattern. Here's the thing. Okay, I've knit. I've tested it for Hannah. This is my third test knit for her and she's one of my favorite people to test for. Um, I used to do a lot more test knitting back in 2020 or no, scratch that, 2022. <laughs> um, but Hannah's probably like one of the only ones that I really just still gravitate towards. Um, she, I don't know. I really love, I really love her. She's so cool. Um, now about the sock pattern it is knit flat it's in tarja it's knit flat and i have never knit socks flat before that was so interesting to me so you if you know anything about sock knitting it's usually knit deep hands magic loop tiny circulars it's in the round it's small circumference knitting but this was knit flat so for the intarsia and then you seam it up Never. I thought that I wouldn't like the... My cat just did something, but I was scared to go look. Okay, anyways, I was scared that the seam would cause sensory issues, because I don't know if you can see that. Um, because I struggle with sensory issues with my ADHD. If I get oversensitized either by clothes, sounds, feelings, anything like that. I was scared this was gonna oversensitize me and it doesn't. It's, I don't even feel it, honestly. So I, when I got picked for the test knit, 
I went into my um, stash and chose some minis and some scraps. I just kind of, I was like, ooh, blue. I love blue. It's my favorite color. So I just threw a bunch of them in this like, uh, what is this, like a uh, sheet set, like packaging. Um, I have a billion colors in here. Not all of them are used in the thing, I don't think. I can name some of them, not all of them. Um, this is Jamie's coat on Tweed from Murray Wool Goods. This is from Yarn Attic Co. This is also Murray Wool Goods. If you know anything about her, she does some uh, mystery sock sets each month. Um, so some of these are just minis from those mystery sock sets. Um, this is Aqualush from Expression Fiber. This is Midnight from Ash and Bumble, which I'm using in my other socks. So I think I did pretty good. Um, the only ones I really do not know the name of are these three. I don't know. Anyways, the, the contrasting cuff, heel, and toe are just black stroll from Knit Picks. Um, I just wanted something that wasn't going to draw too much attention or take it away from the rest of the sock. So it's more of a half finished object because I have only, I've only cast on the second sock. For the test, I only needed one sock done. And on my trip out to North Carolina, my luggage got lost for four days. So I lost four days worth of knitting time in only, I think about a two week time period for this test. I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish them on time. And Hannah of course was like, girl, if you need more time, you can take it. But I was determined and I finished this probably with like 24 hours to spare. I was rushing, but I love it so much. And I'm so excited to finally have them. And I have other plans because you didn't, I don't have to do these like stripes. Like it's just half and half. So you could make the top color one color and the bottom color one color or, well, <laughs> um, or you could stripe them or whatever. There's so many options, so many options. Um, so I'm very glad that I was able to do this. Um, that's about it on what I have. Like I said, I have about 10 works in progress right now, um, but I'm not working on all of them currently. Um, I have more plans for later, but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself because I, there was a time when I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to finish things and just get them done and try and rush through them. But I don't want my making journey to be chaotic or rushed or anything like that. So I'm just, I'm here for the good times not. Yeah, anyways. Um, I don't think I'm like a finished object person. Uh, do you know that saying where you're like, you're either a process knitter or you're a, a project knitter or whatever? You, you want the project versus enjoying the process. I'm like a mixture of both. I want the finished object, I do, but um, I don't want to rush through it and but also sometimes the process is too long so <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense at all but that's fine. Um, I will try and make this a at least a monthly thing maybe bi-monthly. Who knows maybe it'll even be weekly just so just me I'm not putting too much pressure on myself like I said um if it gets down to the point or if it gets to the point that I'm making so much progress in a week I might do weekly but I'm probably gonna do every two weeks um if you have made it to the end of this video thank you so much um I am going to try and upload this within the next two days I have to figure out how to do that Cats are an adventure. If you heard that, <laughs> it's a cat. Um, but 
thank you so much for clicking on my video and watching it with me i hope you had a good time and please feel free to tell me how i did in the comments um yeah thank you have fun bye